you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumbass. Like and subscribe. <laughs> it's, got, it's got stealth radios, it's got ghost radios turning on. Anyway, today, Young Yeah, Young Yeah, Young Yeah put up a video about this guy. This is named Greg Mazin. He's he's the last of his show run. So he's done a, he's done some good shows like Chernobyl and all this. I've never seen Chernobyl, but whatever. Uh, I heard it's good, so I'll take people's word for it. Uh, will the Last of Us TV show be good? Sure, it'll be good. Will it be excellent? Will it be better than Andor? That's the question. I don't think so. I don't think anything could be better than Andor at this point right now. Because Andor is like Andor is like Andor. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'm trying to fix that. Anyway, so he got smacked up and down the internet by the internet because of what he said. Basically, he said, uh, well, I'll just read the quote right here. When you're playing, when you die, you get set back to the checkpoint. All those people are back, moving around in the same way. In the show, such encounters would carry more weight. Watching a person die, I think, ought to be much different than watching pixels die. That's what he pretty much said, right? And so, I mean, there's a couple of things wrong with it. First, what's the deal with Sony creatives not understanding PlayStation gamers? They're, they're literally making a TV show based on a video game, right? A video game that is heavily influenced by the narrative. And there's another another part of this thing too that goes uh, goes uh, beyond this guy. Actually, Neil Druckmann said something, but not pertains to this, but something separate. But this guy said, you know, he said all these things. You know, it's better to see a, a real person die than pixels die. And I'm like, are you a knuckle? Are you the dumbest person on the planet? Young Ye said, Young Ye said this too. Images on your television are pixels, unless you're filming on actual cellulose film. Pixels B, what the hell is really? I mean, I understood what he was trying to say, trying to be cute, trying to be like I could I know about video games because there's pixels in them. Like shut man, just shut up, just just be quiet because you obviously don't know what a pixel is. If you know what a pixel was, you wouldn't have said that using the wrong terminologies. Like Yang Ye said, polygons would have been the correct way to say that not pixels anyway young yeah he basically said yeah pixels are in anything that's digital on your tv your 4k tv which is composed of millions of pixels anyway so my question is why is it so why is it so why is it such that these creatives over at sony don't understand they don't have the, I'm talking about Sony pictures. I'm not talking about Sony video games because video games, obviously the creatives pretty much know, except for Neil Druckmann. I have a problem with Neil Druckmann. My problem with Neil Druckmann is that he thinks he's a movie guy. He thinks he's making all these movies, but he's making video games. Now, yes, he's doing, I think he's writing, or he's one of the writers in the Last of Us TV series. And that's fine, whatever. I have little faith in that show. Not because of the showrunner, mainly because of Neil Neil Druckmann, because the game is not the story of the game. Eh. I mean, yeah, characters are, are the biggest thing, but no one is likable in that show. I'm gonna say show, which is the game. If you take The Last of Us Part Two, the first one was a little bit better, but if you take The Last of Us Part Two and you take the characters <clears throat> and you say, wow, that, that, that is my favorite character. Nobody's your favorite character because they're all evil people. They're all bad people. It's a bunch of bad people in a bad video game. The only thing that makes it good is because is its presentation. This is the thing. This is what Sony does. They present something that looks really cool, and but it really, if you dig deep enough, it's like okay, it's not really that good, right? And so now, Neil Druckmann came up, 
and he said that um, he's working on some games or his games going forward or, or something of that this effect will be structured more like episodes of a TV show. And I said, oh Lord, I feel so sorry for the Sony Ponies because this is not the way. If you remember, you know, the the Walking Dead and the Telltale set, that was cool, it was okay, but it was mainly because of like the choices and the kind of the, the, the whole package of it, except for the engine, which was horrible. The whole package of it, the characters, Clementine and, and uh, oh boy, I forgot his name. It was, it was interesting. It's an interesting story, interesting choices. But if you think about like The Last of Us Part Two and you try to episodize it, it's going to be like the, the, the Dark Pictures Anthology, right? Or something like that. It's the, the main problem with The Last of Us isn't its format. It's its story and characters and the mistreatment of characters. When you have a story, you know, you have to make characters that people care about. People want to root for. Nobody wanted to root for Ellie. Nobody wanted to root for Abby. Everybody wanted to root for Joel. Maybe he had a redemption arc. His redemption was to get stopped at the beginning of the game. Or close to that. That's not that's not good. You know? So making it episodic will not fix the inherent problems of what The Last of Us has become. And nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to be depressed and angry and vengeful and all that stuff. Is that what the whole game is going to be about? Is that what the rest of the series is going to be about? Because the first game started off as a sad dad who lost his daughter, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, you know, people can relate to a parent who's lost his daughter and, you know, can relate to the motivations of that character, right? But he went too far in the second one. You know, sure, they can be angry people. Everybody's angry, but you know, it's just, it's, it's not something that, you know, most people want to go for. Like, oh man, I want to go see vengeful hatred, anger stuff. It's like, no, everybody wants to see Spider-Man. Why? Because he's a lovable, likable, charismatic dude, telling jokes, happy. People like to be happy. Don't give me a stressful, sad, dead game or movie or TV show. Give me happy. Why do you think Spider-Man as a property, as an IP that our Marvel owns, remember that. Why do you think the IP of Spider-Man is so valuable? Why does it make so much money? Because it is the character inherent that makes the money because people like Spider-Man. Name me a person who says, yo, I really like Ellie in The Last of Us. Best, best mascot. Ellie's the new mascot of PlayStation. No, nobody's saying that. Nobody's saying Abby, nobody's saying Joel because he got smashed. In the bad way, because he got stop, he got curb stomped without a curb. It's just, it just a floor, but you know. Anyway, yeah, it's not. I don't. I, I I thought that Sony was finally getting that synergy between their gaming and their and their film and TV, uh, you know, sectors, outlets, uh, whatever, parts. <laughs> but I was wrong because. The creators on the TV side and the movie side have no idea what's going on. I mean, I guess it's a plus that Neil Druckmann is involved with The Last of Us show, but the showrunner does the, no, no, no. Saying stuff like that, it's not gonna make people who like the game go and run and watch your TV show, you know? And I, honestly, that's not the, that's not what they're going for. They're going for, you know, the, all the people, you know, the, the walking dead people. And that's the thing, The Walking Dead kind of played out this whole zombie genre when it comes to TV shows. So I'm like, how is, how is The Last of Us going to be good? Yes, Pedro Pascal is a good actor, but he couldn't save Wonder Woman 84, right? He was in that. He couldn't save that. So it's not like, oh, Pedro Pascal is infallible. Anything he's in is, is marvelous and beautiful. No, no, no. The one show that he was in that made him the best show that he was in because of him was The Mandalorian. And he didn't even see his face for 93% of the show. He's on the mask. All you hear is his voice. Hey, kid. You know, that's it. It was cool. 
He was like a, a faceless stranger, and his voice was good. But, you know, I'm not saying he's a bad actor. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that he is not the savior of The Last of Us. So, and, and Homegirl, I forgot her name, the actress that plays Ellie. I'm looking at her, and I'm like... I don't see I don't see how she can be the Ellie that was in The Last of Us Part 2. I don't see how that actor can be that person. I I don't I I am I don't know. She looked a little too uh, innocent, I guess, or um so fra fra fragile? No. But are they going to make her like work out or something? They're going to be like, "Okay, The Last of Us this this first series is going to It'd be two part. Like, how long is this first series gonna? Is it gonna encompass the full game, the first game, or is it gonna be? You know, they're gonna try to drag it out. Four four seasons will encompass the first game, and then by then, four years later, she'll be grown up a little bit more, and she can work out, get muscles, and be Ellie 2.0, and do we can do the you know last four seasons of the last of us will encompass the last last of us part two. But The Last of Us isn't done, so they're going to make more game, which is what I think Neil Druckmann was referring to when he said, All right, my game's going to be more of a episodic TV show type of thing. And so I'm like, well, is it, are they going to make a show off of that too? Or is it just going to be the game? There's no synergy. I, I thought there was going to be synergy, but they're just taking their properties and, and doing whatever they want with them. I mean, that's cool. But I think what James Gunn is doing with the DC universe is more proper, more it's it's better because it's like yo, he's like he's like yo, everything is canon, movies, TV, games. I'm like that's what's up. Now make it good. Let's go. That's what you gotta do. But they don't do that at Sony. They're just like well, whatever. Burp, burp. It just it doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, you know I I. I said it a long time ago. Sony should do this, and they're doing it, and they're, it seems like they're doing it wrong. Uncharted. Look at how not good that game, that movie was. The game is whatever. The movie not good. So I'm looking at all these movies. Sony still hasn't put out a movie based on a video game that has been equal to the game offering. The game's always been better. So that's why I have little faith. Like God, God of War. I'm like, you know. I, be okay. That might be good. I mean, it's at least the, the the content is more interesting than The Last of Us. I'd rather sit down and watch a God of War movie or TV show than The Last of Us anything, any day of the week, because there's interest. There's, you know, the mythologies of all the gods and all that all that stuff is interesting in its own in its own right. And then you have, you know. We have, I don't know if they're going to have Christopher Judge play Kratos, but I don't think so. I think he might be a little, well, if he plays old Kratos. I see, I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to do, uh, oh, Last of Us, uh, God of War. Are they going to do um, God of War 2018 moving forward? Are they going to do, um, they probably have flashbacks or something. Well, whatever, we talked about this before. But, you know, I I don't I don't know. Everybody said, oh, I like the, the trailers for The Last of Us. It looks cool. I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, Okay, this is what I expected to look like because it's a Walking Dead ripoff, just with a little, you know, last of a sprinkling with, you know, with the with the mushroom people heads, and that those effects look cool. But ultimately, a show like that, just like The Walking Dead, is about the characters, right? So you got Joel, you got I guess Joel, Joel's brother shows up sometime in there. You got Ellie, you got Ellie's uh, little girlfriend. I think she was in it. She was a, uh, who's the actress who played her? I saw her in, in one clip and I think that's her from the Left Behind, I guess the Left Behind DLC. They're doing some stuff on it. So, I don't know, man. It's it's a big, it's a big question mark. I Like I said, I got no faith in, in Sony's ability to create uh, compelling content when it comes to movies and TV show. Uh, only thing that they've done good is the Spider-Verse stuff, and I'll explain why that was better than everything else. I think uh, Amy Pascal is probably a poisonous uh, plague upon Sony Creative, uh, based off of those leaked uh, emails that they did a while ago, talking shit about Angela Jolie and all that stuff. So, you know what? They can kick rocks. If it's good, great. 
I ain't got no faith. It's probably gonna be hot trash garbage, and then the pony's gonna try to pump it up like, oh, it's all good. I believe that. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Is it better than the game, though? <laughs> That's the question. That's the question you have to ask yourself because this is the adaptation. So, is it better than the game, though? You look at Uncharted. And you say, is it better than the game, though? And no, no, it's not. Sorry. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let me know in the comments. Is is the is the movie? TV creative over at Sony barely hanging on are they really all that good and don't talk about Spider-Man because that stuff is is being helmed the live action for Spider-Man stuff is Marvel there Marvel is making that Sony is paying for it so that is not Sony creative that is Marvel creative so don't get it twisted also the Spider-Verse stuff once again funded by Sony and helmed by someone who makes great movies animated or otherwise and that's uh Lloyd and Miller. Well, I think it's just Miller or Lord. I don't remember. I always say that. I don't remember which one it is, but everything he touches turns to gold is, is fabulous. So you can't, those don't count because those aren't Sony proper as far as, you know, if you want to make a comparison, that's like, that's like uh, Xbox buying Activision Blizzard. That's what that is because Sony is just paying for some good talent to write their stuff, to create their stuff. Paying Marvel, paying Lord and Miller to make good content. Look at Venom. Venom good? It's okay. It's not like it's not on the level of all those other Spider-Man stuff. So yeah, just gotta look at it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. It's Druckman out of his mind with this uh, these uh, it's episodic game chunks or whatever he's gonna do. You know, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I'll see you on the next one.